In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a sticky navbar that also changes color when you start scrolling. A really cool effect to add to the website. Okay, so structure already there. Then I'm gonna add a header right here, a nav, and then three links. One like that. One I'm gonna call it home. The second one, sources, and the third, contacts. Okay, then down here, I'm gonna add a div with a paragraph with some Lauren text in it. Save that. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy and paste it a few times like this. Okay, save that. Okay, as you can see, that's already full. Okay, then let's switch to the main CSS and I'm gonna start with the body. So background color, black, then header, background color, black as well, and then height, 5EM, display, flex, align items, center, okay? Okay, then header, navigation, I'm gonna give it a padding, 1.5 EM, 0, 1.5 EM, 5 EM, and then I'm gonna style the links, the anchor elements. So of course, text, decoration, none, then color, white, font size, 1.3 EM, and margin of 1 EM. Okay, if we save that, that's already looking so much better. Okay, then just to make everything more like scrollable to show you that later on, height pixels, a parting 2 em, 6 em, 2 em, 6 em, and then the paragraph font size. This is just to make things bigger, but of course, you wouldn't do that. Okay. But this is just to show you how the header is fixed up here. Then the color white, of course. Okay, like that. Really, really good. So as you can see, you can scroll up and down. Okay. So to fix the header here, we can use position fixed, but this is not the final solution. Okay, so bear with me. So position fixed, then top zero, of course. Okay. We can actually change the color to white to show you. As you can see, the header has been removed from the content flow, which means that all the content down here has been pushed up, okay? And that's beneath the header right now. And this is not what we want. So you, first of all, you will need to add a width to the header, something like that. Also remove the margin, of course, this is what you should actually do. You should actually use margin zero here. And then you would have to add a padding top to the body with 5 EM, which is the height of the header, okay? If you save that, as you can see, everything works just fine, okay? But this is a little bit tricky. You need to remember this and this, and then you change the height, and then you need to change the padding, etc., etc. So let's go and see a better way of doing this, okay? So we can remove this, we can remove this, and here, instead of fixed, we can actually use, let's go back to black, okay? We can actually use sticky, okay? If we save that, as you can see, everything works already fine, okay? So the header is here. You don't need to add width 100%. You've got, you don't need to add padding top and everything works because sticky doesn't remove the element from the content flow. So for all the content down here, the header is still there, even when you scroll up and down, okay? As you can see, header and body of the same color. So we need to add some transitions and JavaScript to make it better, or at least change color, you know, to make it visible when we scroll up and down, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna add a transition to the header, okay? So transition, background, color, 0.4 seconds, is in out, okay? Then I'm gonna add a CSS rule for the header that applies when we'll add later on 
the class scrolled with JavaScript. Okay, so header, so scroll like this, background, color, white, and also to make a cool effect, an opacity of 0 0.98, okay? Then same thing here, so we need to add a transition here. So color, 0 0.4 seconds is in out, okay? And the same for the scrolled class, okay? So header, scroll, nav, a color, black, perfect. And of course, nothing changes because we need to add the class with JavaScript. So let's go back to the index.html, let's scroll down here, and let's add an event listener that gets triggered when we scroll. Okay, so document dot add event listener. When we scroll, then arrow function like this, and then down here we get the header. Okay, so document dot query selector like this. Then we get the element header. Then we need to check if we are scrolling or not, okay? Because if we are scrolling, we need to add the class, and when we are back to the top, we need to remove it, okay? So to do that, we need to check the window scroll Y property, which basically returns how much we scroll down in pixels. In other words, if we don't scroll, this is zero. If we scroll down, it increases. If we scroll back up, it decreases until it gets back to zero, okay? So if window dot scroll Y, is greater than zero, then we need to add the class. So class list dot add scrolled header dot class list dot remove and we remove it like this. Okay, perfect. So if we save that and go here, as you can see, everything works. So as you can see, you start scrolling, the class scrolled is added, all the properties that we set here are applied, and then when you go back to the top, scrolled is removed and all the initial properties are used, okay? So if you don't know what to watch next, here you can see another really interesting video about web development, click on it, and I'll see you there.